So, a lot of publishers have been coming to my DM to make a lot of complaints that their books are not making sales on Amazon. Well, no problem. Here are the top five reasons why your books are not making sales on Amazon and what you can do to fix them. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. My name is Muhammad Sani. So in this video, you will learn why those books of yours are not making sales and what you can do as a KDP publisher to ensure that those books start making sales. But before we dive into the video, you need to realize that some of these factors are things you can control and others are uncontrollable. All right. Now, the first reason why your book is not making sales is bad covers. All right. Because that's the first thing a customer sees when they see your book. And if your book cover leaves a bad impression, you've automatically lost that sale. All right. So let's go into my screen now. And I will show you guys examples of good covers, bad covers, and how to ensure that you design a good book cover for your book. To make sure that whenever a customer sees your book, they are impressed and they proceed to buy it. Okay, we are on my screen now. I will be showing you guys those good covers, the bad covers, and how to ensure that you create good covers for your books when publishing. All right. So let's just um, search for, let's say, a random random topic let's say how to be a good wife okay or okay how to be a good okay, a good wife right okay so you can see um different examples here right so let's take a look at this first cover obviously this is a very very bad cover because it's just as if the person uploaded a picture and you can see the font size it's so small like nobody can read this thing okay it's so small for the eyes and it's only when they see the title that they will know you see this uh, this book cover is very very bad so there's no way a customer will see this book now and click on it they won't click on it they'll just scroll they'll just scroll let's go down and look for that like this one now this one is obviously better because you can see the font like it's legible enough anybody can Anybody can read this and know that okay, this book is about how to be a good wife. Now, even the background and even the um, image of the couple that was added to the background is so good. Now, there is no way a customer will see this book and see this one and click on that other one. No, they will definitely click on this one because the book cover is very, very good. This is an example of a good cover and this is an example of a bad cover. Let's scroll down and search for more examples. This is another example of a very very bad cover because the background like the background doesn't even fit what the, what the topic is talking about how to be a good wife and the person just um used the picture of a door handle as the background of his you know the book cover which is bad let's scroll down this one is also a bad book cover because i don't even understand what the person did here the person just uploaded a picture and added another picture here of gravels or what is even that i don't even know Look at the fonts, so disorganized, and look at even the color. This is this is an example of a bad cover. Let's scroll down. This one is even better, at least. This one is better. This one is also a very, very good book cover. Because you can see it's simple. Okay, it's simple enough. And anybody who sees this book will know that this book is talking about how to be a good wife. And the image and even the background, like it makes a whole lot of sense. Unlike unlike this one and this one and this one okay and this one this is the worst book cover so i've successfully showed you guys an example of good covers and bad covers so now let me show you guys how to create bo good book covers okay so you can go to canva.com okay you can go to canva now if you are a you know you are a professional um graphics designer you can start designing your book cover from scratch okay but if you're not a good designer i would advise you use already made templates because that's that's one of the mistakes a lot of publishers are making they are not very very good in book design but yet they they will want to you know design their own book cover from scratch and they end up designing a terrible book cover and that is why they lose a lot of sales even if the book is a very very good book okay so let's search for um book cover 
now you can see book cover so you get a lot of templates that you can use all you just need to do is just make adjustments you can change the font you can change the background you can see different kinds of um templates already made for you so all you just need to do is just pick one of them like this one now you can you can even use this one to be your how to be a good wife let's say for example you are publishing a book on how to be a good wife okay you can just you can just select um this template all right then all you just need to do is just make the edits like just edit what you want to edit just make the little changes and use it as your book cover you are good to go there's no need for you to start designing any book cover from scratch and that is the mistake a lot of publishers are making and that's why they end up publishing bad book covers like this one the image is okay so you can just you know just um edit it you can just say how to how to be a okay then this one can be how to be a good wife okay you can just let's just adjust this one sorry okay and let's bring it down a little and see and you've gotten your very very good book cover how to be a good wife and once you are done what you just do is just you know come to this place and download and just download it and you have the successfully gotten a good book cover for yourself there's no need to go and start um there's no need for you to go and start designing a book cover from scratch unless if you are a professional graphics designer then you can go ahead to produce a you know a book cover from scratch the second reason why your book might not be selling is bad description okay so even after you've successfully designed a good cover for your book and the customer clicks on it the next thing the customer will check is your description because your description is like a summary of what your book is about and if the description is not simple and understandable enough the customer might lose interest in your book and won't proceed to buy it okay so I will sh quickly show you guys my unique formula of creating a good book description and to ensure that you also do the same for all your books. Check this out. Now I'm going to be sharing with you guys the formula I used to create a very good description that is very, very attractive. Okay. Let me just show you guys the formula. Okay. Now this is my book description formula. The first one is, um, you know, your food for thoughts. All right. The second is your book introduction. Right. The third is the benefits of your book benefits the things that they are going to be you know get from your book the fourth one is the assertive statement and the fifth one of course is call to action right now you have to make sure that when creating your book description all these things need to be inside especially if it's a book on you know now it mustn't necessarily be you know um let's say for example you are creating a book on trend right there are some topics that you know you won't actually get a befitting food for thought okay but most evergreen most evergreen models right you can you know think very well and get a very very good food for thought uh, always get your book into the benefits of the book the assertive statement and call to action all right now if you want to create a very good book description this is the website you need to go to let's minimize that let's open up our browsers okay let's go to google.com so when you're on google.com what you are typing what you're searching for is amazon book description generator okay it's already suggesting it for me amazon book description generator then you click on that you come to this first website kindupreneur.com right this first website this is the website you are coming to then you click on that okay you are in so you see a you know a blank space like this with you know so many icons that you can use to customize your book description after you are done right you can bold some sentences you can italicize you can underline you can do whatever you want okay but make sure you have to type your description every part of your description into this place and you can see it can only accommodate 3996 characters just 3996 characters now i told you guys that the formula of my book description the first one is need to get a food for thought right second is your book intro third one is benefits okay so i remember um we created a book right on keto diet 
all right a book on keto diet of course uh keto diet is one of those diets that you know people who want to lose weight they can you know be consuming all right they can be consuming those kind of diets so now let's come back to this website okay now this is this should be after you've done your like if you know you can think of you know a food for thoughts you can go online and get food for thoughts like popular food for thoughts that are based on you know um weight loss or something all right but let me just you know just craft out something um you know let me okay let me just type down something right now let's assume that this is our food for thoughts okay the biggest lie ever told to anyone is to eat less food if they want to lose more weight right you know most of all these um especially all these fitness trainers they will tell you to you know avoid eating eating some kind of meals and uh you need to work out all those kind of things right so you can use this as a food of uh, food for thought right the biggest lie ever told to anyone is to eat less food if they want to lose more weight okay and you have to make sure you know you're building it all right okay let's just finish with everything then we'll know how to do so we've just gotten our food for thought okay now you can give a space now the second one is your book intro right your book intro and you know the title of your book your book it was on keto diet okay now you can just type down something about keto diet right let's just type down something
Just okay. Um, let me quickly correct this. Okay, so this is now like the introductory aspect of your book. Okay, we've gotten our food for thought, which is the biggest lie ever told to anyone is to eat less food if they want to lose more weight, right? Because um, you know, a lot of people who you know want to lose weight, you tell them um, most of these fitness trainers tell them to okay, to eat less food if they want to lose more weight. Okay, which is a lie. Then you now you know introduce your book. You now say keto diet is one of the most popular meals that they recommended to a lot of people who want to lose weight and are well face facing some health challenges right then you now introduce your book properly then you now say in the book title then whatever the title now you don't just write just the title okay after you've done that then you put a hyphen and you know, put a hyphen right me put the cursor there okay then you put a hyphen there also type down the subtitle where's my cursor sorry okay put your hyphen there also write down the subtitle of your book right so that they will know that okay well, this is the this is the book title and this is the subtitle right and once you've done that you now probably introduce your book in the book titled whatever whatever you will discover that most of the things that some fitness trainers have been telling a lot of people and how to stop consuming more food only if they want to lose more with our lives all right in this view in <clears throat> also in you now tell them that okay in this uh book they are going to discover uh, this 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 you don't have to like you know you just have to tell them that okay in this book you don't have to you know stop um consuming more food if you want to eat. just go on this diet and this and this and this and this has proven to you know and you also you know support it with um proofs like you have to be assertive right you have to be assertive so you have to you know support it with proof that okay this and this and this and this and this and this you can even bring in statistics you can just go online and get you know some statistics about keto diet how keto diet have been able to help some people you know who are facing some health challenges and some people who are you know looking for um ways to lose weight you can just get those kind of statistics and you know use it to support the idea okay the idea you are presenting in your book description all right so once you are done with that then the next thing you need to introduce is what the benefits okay the benefits of the you know the book the benefits you are going to be getting in the book and the benefits you can list them in bullet points you don't you don't you don't have to you know combine everything into one sentence no it won't look nice it won't look organized okay you have to you know put them in bullet points right so i put at least them you can, you can use a numbered list or bullet list but i personally use bullets okay i list my you know benefits of the book in bullets so once you put the first one, you can just say, okay, it helps. Then you can now write down the normal, you know, the normal benefits of let's say keto diet. And if you don't know it, you can you know get you can go through your book again and get some of those benefits there since they are part of the contents that you, you know included in your book. And let's say it helps. It helps to you know, um Let's see helps to sorry let me just quickly just look for the videos and comments to my comments like it's a diet okay so you can just you know just come online or maybe go back to your book all right and just get some the pros and cons okay the pros can say weight loss no more low fat okay no more low fat and of course you can use you can also you can also you know add um um you know the reasons why you feel that uh okay people don't have to don't have to you know stop consuming more food if they want to lose weight okay it's just that the kind of food that they are consuming contains a lot of fat which keto diet keto diet does not have okay so those are the kind of things you add so you can tell them that it helps um, lose helps to lose weight right let's just say help to lose weight you can add it helps it helps to
it helps to reduce food fats okay okay let's say it contains contains low amount amount of food fat and so many other benefits right but before you start or before you start you can't just start in um, you know uh you can't just start listing the benefit just like that okay you just can't start listing the benefit like that then i say okay get in this book and start with something like You can say getting this book or adding this book to your cart, whichever one you want. Okay, let's do that. Adding this book to your cart will be one of will be one of the best decisions of your life one of the best be best decisions this oh, what am i typing decisions one of the best decisions of your life because you will discover your life because you will discover that so after the that okay it mustn't necessarily be exactly the way i did mine here that i typed um adding this book to your car would be one of the best decisions as well like you can create your own sentence you can craft your own sentence just make sure it is catchy enough and it is attractive right so adding this book to your cards will be one of the best decisions of your life because you discover that uh you know the book keto diet you can start okay okay so your name is cool okay you can even start with the you know the sent the the subject itself which is keto diet all right you can start with that keto diet helps to lose weight so you don't necessarily have to you know stop consuming more food you just need to change a diet right then you can also say it um then from there you don't have to repeat keto diet anymore you can just be using it 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 right you can just be using it 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 and once you are done listing the bullet points right once you're done listing the bullet points then you will now introduce your assertive statements okay your assertive statements and your assertive statement can come in this form okay let's say you are done listing your your um okay let's say you are done listing your your benefits right the benefits of the book now it's time for you to introduce your assertive statement so your assertive statement can be can include fear you can use fear. sometimes it can be fearful sometimes it can just be normal right well let me just say something like change your diet before your diet changes you just you know, type all type it all change your diet before your diet changes you okay change your diet before your diet changes you oh what am i okay sorry let me correct that okay change your diet before your diet changes you then you can add okay exclamation marks yeah once you are done it's time for you to do your call to action okay then you can craft your call to action like don't just stop at reading the description make sure to scroll back up and click that buy button now all right that's your call to action your call to action can be just you know make sure you are creative right 
make sure you are creative you just have to take your time it's not something that is hard it's not something that is hard just you know with time as you are doing more and more you get better at it nobody started perfectly all right so all these things were just you know it's because i've been doing it that's why you know the ideas have just been coming in right so you just have to take your time and think of something so your call to action will now be in this form All right, so your description, <clears throat> your call to action can now be your call to action can now be it doesn't stop at reading this description, right? It doesn't stop at reading this description. So make sure to scroll back up and click the buy button now. So this buy have to be in capital letters so that you can see it clearly. This now also all have to be in capital letters so that you can see it clearly. Now you are done crafting out your book description, okay? I've gotten our food for thought. We have gotten our intro. This is also, you know, the intro part. This is the benefit. This is your assertive statement, and this is your call to action. Right? It could be more than this just for the sake of this video. That's why I don't want the video to be too long. Okay, it's just for you to get the idea and craft your own. You can see over three thousand characters are still left. So you can write a lot, a lot. Like you can get more benefits and add and add and add. Okay, depending on the kind of book you're publishing. And once you are done, it's time for you to, you know, customize it the way as a customer, format it the way you want, right? Format it. You can bold in this title and subtitle. Okay, you can just highlight and bold in it. If you like, you can italicize it, you can underline it, whichever one you want, okay? You can also, you know, um, highlight this food for thought and make it bold, okay? Can make it bold and at the same time you can italicize it okay um you can also you know, place an emphasis so those ones you are you know you are increasing you know you are making them bold it means you are putting a lot of emphasis on those words and those are the words that you want you know the the buyer to see so that it will captivate them more okay so that it will captivate them more so you have to make those words to pop out you have to make them unique okay so that when they see they will know that okay this this is actually this is the idea this is the information you are trying to pass right let's say you can italicize this one and bold it and let's say you underline it even Okay. change your diet before that it changes you then if you are then if you are done you can just highlight only the buy button here okay that buy button you can italicize it so once you are done you know custom I mean, as a customize once you are done formatting you know your book description the way you want it okay and you've gone through everything and it's perfect the way you want it all you have to do now is just come down here and click generate my code can see a code has been copied so all you have to do is just click on copy code the code has been copied then open a word pad or anywhere and just paste it there just paste it there then you can save it okay click save us let me just see description can even name it as a keto diet book description whatever one you want whichever one you want you click save and that's it the third reason why your book is not making sales is when you put them in the wrong category all right now your book might be a good one 
But when publishing, a lot of people make a mistake by putting their books in a niche that is very competitive. Right? And when you put your book in a niche that is very, very competitive, your book will struggle to make sales. So let's go to my screen now. And I'll show you guys how to spot those categories that are less competitive and very profitable for your books. Okay, guys, we are back on my screen. And just like I said, I'll be showing you guys how to search for niches that are profitable for your books. Okay. So a tool that will be important in this case is the publisher rocket. The publisher rocket will make your work easier and faster for you. So when you open up the publisher rocket, okay, then you go to your category search. You can either click here or you click here, whichever one you want, okay? So let's click this place. Now let's wait for it to load up. So let's assume that you publish a book on how to be a good wife. Obviously, that's a book under the relationship niche, okay? Then you scroll down to where you have relationships, parenting and relationships, okay? This is it. So you click on check it out. Now, this term is here. It means in this um category, this is number of sales you need to make. This is number of copies you need to sell in order to become the best seller in that book, in that um in this niche, okay? And this is number of copies you need to sell in order for your book to be among the top ten. So you can arrange it in you know according to the level of difficulty of the niches, okay? The competitiveness of the niches. So let's click this button here, okay? So now, when you scroll down, when you scroll, like I said, that number keeps on decreasing, keeps on decreasing. So in this case, let's say you publish a book on how to be a good wife. You can see Kindle store, Kindle ebooks, parenting and relationships, and family health. Okay. So this is the number of copies you need to sell in order to become the best seller in this category. And then this is the number of copies you need to sell in order for your book to rank among the top 10 books in that category, which is just one copy. So even if it's just one copy that you're able to sell, okay, your book will be ranked among the top 10 books in that category. It could be maybe the number nine or number eight or number seven. Okay. There are so many other niches that are here. So many other categories, so many other profitable categories that are here that you can, that you can use. Okay? You can see this one, books, parenting and relationships, family relationship, abuse, elder abuse. Okay. You can put your books here. You can put your book in this kind of category. It is profitable because this is the number of copies you just need to sell to become the best seller. Just three copies. And it is possible. Okay. You can publish your book and sell three copies and become the best seller immediately. And when you just sell just when you sell just one copy, okay, your book will be ranked among the top 10 books in that category. And you can go ahead to check it out to see the books that have been published under that category. Okay, you can go ahead, you know, to check it out to see the books that have been published under that category. You can see these are the kind of books that are there. So when you you this is how you you know when you are selecting your niche when publishing, you click on um you know you select um parenting and relationships, then you put you can put your book under elder abuse. You can see the kind of books that are there. So definitely, definitely this is a profitable niche for your book. As for those publishers who don't have the publisher rocket, okay. Here's an alternative for you guys. So just go to Amazon, Amazon website, right? Then go to Kindle eBooks. Okay. So now that you're at Kindle eBooks, let's assume you want to publish a book on how to be a good wife, right? So let's scroll down to parenting and relationships. Okay. You are not niching down yet. You are not niching down yet. Your focus is on the top five books in that category. Okay. Now these top five books will help you decide which of the you know which of the subcategories is profitable for your book okay and of course you are working with a bestseller rank which is less than twenty thousand. okay so in this case the first book here is 335 in kindle store 491 oh sorry okay we have um 491 here i think we had 570 here okay about yeah, 570 here and we have um the girls are gone okay so let's assume you want to work with this book here just hover your mouse and the extension will break out all the details okay so you can see this book is number one in divorce number four in and also um divorce that's um divorce under kindle store and divorce in books and number five under true crime um, biographies so how you just what you just need to do now is and it has a very very good bestseller rank of 1723 that's a good bestseller rank okay so what you just need to do is you've already um you've already um gotten down the 
what you just need to do is note down this um subcategory which is divorce in kindle store and divorce in books okay divorce in kindle store but in most cases you are working with kindle store so what you just need to mark down is divorce in kindle store so let's search for the number of competitors number of people who are competing for that book so let's say the girls are gone in kindle store and say the number of competitors is just 77 it's just 77 so when you are publishing your book now you can put your book on that divorce on that divorce okay you can see the number of people who are competing in this niche it is very very low so let's go back let's um you know let's check out um this first book a heart that works okay so let's hover our mouse okay it said it is number one in fatherhood number one in death and grief then number three in parenting and relationships okay so let's search for the title of that book what you just need to do is note down these cards subcategories fatherhood death and grief then family and um, parenting and relationships so let's say a heart that works let's search a heart that works okay you can see the number of competitors is just 416 so this is a very very good niche for you okay so um i hope you guys you know have learned how to search for profitable niches niches that are profitable for your book so that i don't end up putting your book in a category that is very competitive the fourth reason why your book might not be making sales is because of unprofitable keywords now keywords are those things that helps you know customers to see your book those are the things that customers search for those are those words that customers use to search for you know books when they are looking for a new book to buy on amazon and after publishing a good book you know creating a good book cover and generating a good book description for your book if you end up using keywords that are not profitable for your book your book will not, will not rank and if your book doesn't rank customers will not see it and if customer doesn't see it it's as good as you didn't publish any book at all so I will take you guys to my screen now and show you guys some of the tools I use and how I use them to search for my keywords so that I can also do the same for your books. These are the tools that I've been using before I got to the publisher rocket and I was making an average of $300 to $800 monthly. So I want to show you guys those three tools. They are free. You don't have to pay money for them. They are free. And how to use them to search for keywords. Okay. And evergreen models okay that's if you are publishing books on evergreen evergreen models okay so let's look at those tools okay now these are the tools they are just three number okay the first one is the keywords tool dominator keywords tool dominator it's a free extension right you can add it to your browser then the second one is amz suggestion expander then the third one is keywords everywhere extension okay you have to make sure you add these three extensions to your browser before you start searching for keywords so let's go to our browser let's go to google.com first then let's search for keywords let's assume that you know you are you are doing it for the first time and you want to add these extensions right so you just search for keywords to dominator keyword to dominator extension okay keywords to dominator extension you click on that and you come to this first link this one that has chrome.google.com okay you click on that link then if you've not added yours to the browser it will show you add to chrome but i've already added mine that is why it is showing you remove from chrome okay so let's go back the second extension is amz suggestion expander right a m z suggestion expander okay also come to this first link and click on that <coughs> okay so i've already added mine to my browser that is why it is showing you remove from chrome okay but if you have not added yours if you come here for the first time you see add to chrome then you click on add to chrome it will install and automatically add it to your browser and let's go back now let's search for the third extension which is keywords everywhere extension keywords everywhere keywords everywhere from extension sorry I'm supposed to remove this alternative 
okay so you are here right this first link let's click on this first link and make sure you add it to your browser you can see mine has been added that is why it is showing remove from chrome now you've added those three browsers those three um extensions to your browser you can start your keywords research now okay now there are different rules for keywords research remember after you are done publishing after you are done formatting your book and you've you know given it a title and a subtitle right you automatically know that your first and second keyword is your book title and the subtitle okay they are your major keywords so you don't have to keep on repeating the words that you already put in your title let's say for example you titled your book as keto diet yeah, just like we did when i was you know showing you guys how to format your book in the previous video let's say you've already titled your book as keto diet and um you know you used your used this as a subtitle why you should consume it more than any other food okay that was our that was our you know subtitle so you don't have to let's say when you are now um publishing your book and you are imputing keywords you don't have to repeat keto diet again no okay you can leave that you can use that space to get more keywords that will help your book rank you don't have to repeat keywords everywhere keywords again because you don't have to repeat the keywords you've already put in your title and your subtitle you don't have to repeat them again because they alone they are already keywords on their own they are already keywords okay so let's go to the to the first one which is um af now after you you know um the amz suggestion expander okay and the key the keywords everywhere extension works let me just show you guys how each of them works okay let's start with the keywords tool dominator keywords tool dominator remember the first time i told you guys to add the extension first right when you add the extension okay let's confirm if because sometimes when you add the extension you see that it might not be working okay that's because it is not activated so you have to make sure that it's activated so you come to this place these three dots and click on it you come to more tools okay then scroll you see extensions here okay then click on extensions you can see the mg suggestion, suggestion expander is added and it is activated too okay the keywords to dominator is added and it is also activated and the keywords everywhere extension has been added to and it is activated so sometimes you can add this browser and you see that it will be turned off like this so you have to make sure you turn it on okay you have to make sure that they are turned on if not they won't perform their work okay so let's go back and start our keywords research and we are starting with keywords to dominator right keywords to dominator after you've added the extension there you can come to keywords to dominator.com this first website keywords to dominator.com okay now it is a multi-purpose keyword research tool you can use it to search for keywords on amazon you can use it to search for keywords on bing ebay etsy google home depot so many other websites okay you can use and the best the good thing about the keyword tool dominator is that it will give you the popularity score of each keyword and even the top 10 keywords that are ranking based on that particular idea only let's say that I, i'm particular topic you want to publish a book on it will give you the popularity scores of all the keywords that are related to it and it will also give you the top 10 keywords that are ranking the top 10 keywords that are ranking right so then when you come to this website you can sign up for free okay sign up for free or you can sign it as if you already have an existing account now some of us already know know um you know you are already aware of this keyword tool dominator but for those who don't know you have to come to keyword tool dominator.com okay so let's scroll down <clears throat> i've already created an account okay so let me just sign in okay i've already signed in so now it says select a keyword tool and get started okay if you want to search for keywords now on bing or let's say ebay or whatever okay you click on that but our focus is on Amazon. So you click on find Amazon keywords. Okay. Of course, you have to, you know, select your department. Okay. Because your focus is on Kindle store. So you have to set it on Kindle store. Right. You have to set it on Kindle store. Your marketplace, you can change it to whatever one you want. Okay. But our major marketplace is United States. So it's www.amazon.com. Okay. So let's leave it on that. So you can want, you, you, you can um classify the keyword into maybe normal keyword research or precise keywords research or even broad keywords research okay whether it's broad or precise or normal in most cases i leave mine on normal but you can, can decide to put you on precise or whatever 
but I always leave mine on normal okay then all you do now is enter the product name so now you are not researching you know um you, that's you have already gotten the topic you want to research a book on right which is keto diet so you can decide to put the keto diet completely or you can even decide to break it let's see let's see let me even remove keto let me just put just diet let's see what happens just put just diet okay remember it's already on amazon and you already set it on kindle store and you click search okay you can see 19 key okay no 19 it's still loading oh hello <laughs> I can see out of 37 pages, just 11 have already loaded. Wow, so many keywords on diet. So, in this case, after it is done, <clears throat> you know, searching Amazon for those keywords, it will give you a popularity score of the top. The top 10 keywords, you see that they will have stars. You can see them already. They will have stars. Those are the top 10 keywords. And you see that their popularity score is very, very high. So, the higher the popularity score, it means a lot of people are searching for that. It, like, a lot of people are using that keyword. To search for books on Amazon, and you see, the best part is that it even if some keywords are duplicated, it will remove the duplicated keywords for you to make it easy for you. Okay, so now you can go through the two hundred and eighty-seven keywords that have been gotten just on diet alone. But assuming we added keto diet, it won't be up to two hundred and eighty-seven. So we just want to make it, you know, just to since our book is under one of the you know one of the diets that's out there, right? <clears throat> you can just put diet okay so i can get more keywords okay more keywords now you can see this is the first one okay and you can see the popularity is called 100 so it's a very very hot keyword it's a very very hot keyword so these are the top 10 keywords you can see them the top 10 and the and the best part is you see this arrow right here see this arrow right here once you click on that arrow it will take you to amazon directly so you will see all the books that have been published on that particular keyword okay you see all the books that have been published on that particular keyword let's check it out let's click on that arrow you see what happens you can see you can see all these books have been published on that particular key all these books have been published on that particular keyword that have been published on that particular keyword so <laughs> let's go back okay you can see so many other keywords so many other keywords now it doesn't mean that these ones that don't have stars are not good they are also good okay they are also good but then let's say for example now you click on this one let's go back okay i can see it it has over two thousand. results it means a lot of, you know it means two thousand people are competing for this keyword okay two thousand people are competing for this keyword and normally your uh your number of competitors should not be greater than 700 okay if it's less than 700 very very good okay at least but maximum it should not be more than 1000 competitors so that I can stand the chance of competing. Okay. But in this case, you have over 2,000. So I won't advise you to go for this keyword. Even though it's a keyword that has a very, very high popularity score. But if you feel like you want to add it to yours, you can go ahead. Okay. Let's go back and check, you know, diet books. Let's see diet books. Let me close this tab. I see over 50,000 results. Oh, wow. Don't even go there. <laughs> Don't even go there. So diet land. Let's see how many competitors. 288. 88 result for just diet land so in this case now you already published a book okay you've already published a book on keto diet and you want to add your keyword you don't have to repeat keto diet in your keyword again you've already got in one keyword which is diet land because just mark it down somewhere you've already got in your first keyword diet land because you can the number of competitors just 288 so it means 288 people are just competing for this keyword just 288 people and let's go down so that is how you know you go through all these keywords and again if you don't if like if you feel like let's say you want to just gather everything at once you just want everything to be downloaded you can just scroll down you can see them popular you can see all the popularity scores okay you can just come here and click on download you can select the keyword you can unselect You know, if you don't want the keywords that have pop uh, low popularity scores in your in your you know your documents that are about to download, you can unselect them. You can unselect those ones, okay? And once you are done, just click download, and it will download, and it will download. Let's click on download again. You can see it has downloaded it for me. It has downloaded it, so you can just open it. 
when you open it up you see all the keywords there the competitive scores and all of them so you can analyze it the way you want if you want it to be downloaded like this to make it easy for you okay so that's you know the you can use this um you know the keywords tool dominator to get keywords for your book to get keywords for your book i remember like i told you guys if a keyword is already in your book title you don't have to repeat it again because the title and subtitle are already serving as keywords don't repeat it again so if your book title is keto diet don't go and repeat keto diet in your uh you know your keyword box again you are just wasting your time you are just wasting that slot okay you can use that slot to add better keywords and you can even filter the keywords if you want you can even filter them you can just say filter them according to you know competitive scores let's say you just want um between okay just say 92 okay or maybe you just want only the top 10 you can just turn that on. it will remove the rest remaining keywords and just you can see i can also um you know um check the remove um, filter the keywords according to the award counts like this place now you have three keywords here we have um three keyword three 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 so if you want the word counts just be only one 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 keyword you can do it if it's nine keywords it's just the ones that have only four keywords that's if if you are you know you, you want maybe long tail keywords or short tail keywords right if you just want only those ones so this is you know the i um, mean you know, one of the best free tools that you can use to search for keywords on amazon okay and it will take you directly to amazon by clicking on any of these arrow to see the books that have been published on it and the competitive and the number of competitors like i click this one on nine best diet plan okay i can see it has just 356 results just 356 results just 356 results you know and look at the best seller rank the best seller rank is very very good like for the first one here yeah. see the best rank is very very good so this kind of keyword now you can just mark it down best diet plan just you know just write it down somewhere can just type it down somewhere let's say best diet plan or whatever best best diet plan okay and just like i um told you guys you don't have to repeat one like a word that is already existing you don't have to repeat again so in this case since you already have diet here you don't have to repeat diet again you can either put it this way best diet plan then put land or diet land then best diet no best plan they remove diet do you understand you don't have to keep on repeating more and more words no you are just wasting the chances for more words to enter and the more the more you you know the more the number of unique words you add to your listing the higher your chances of you know your book showing up when people search for it on amazon okay so that is how to use the amazon um the keyword tool dominator to search for keywords on amazon I hope you guys have you know learned how to use this this keyword tool dominator to search for keywords on amazon just like i told you guys you can make your keyword search to be precise or you can make it broad okay you can make it broad now remember we just use diet okay and we got over 287 287 keywords so let's assume i'm searching for keto diet now completely let's complete it let's say keto diet let's see the number of keywords that we'll get I don't know why my network is so slow. Sorry. So let's just wait for it to finish loading. I want these videos to be as short as possible so that okay, you can see I totally removed the 36 duplicated words. So you don't have so wow, <laughs> wow, we've got more words. We've got more keywords. Uh keto diet, right? You can see more keywords. More keywords. Just scroll down, you can see them just scroll down and down and down and down and down okay you can just see different keywords just different keywords at different popularity scores you can filter out the keywords according to popularity scores if you want just the top 10 if you want you know the the keywords to be filtered according to word count that's no more than three letter word no more than three words or maybe four words or five words 
or if you want the keyword not to contain let's say book now all the keywords are contained books you don't want the keyword to do like the ones you like let's say you type book here now when you click on filter it will remove this particular keyword it will remove it okay it will remove it and if you want just the top 10 just click on that then click on filter to see it to just give you just the top 10 just the ones that are there so that's how to use the keyword tool dominator to search for keywords when publishing your book on amazon so now <clears throat> the second keyword is the amz suggestion expander <clears throat> and just like i told you guys you must add the extension first okay and make sure it is activated before you start doing your keywords research now a lot of people you know they they always do their keywords to search in incognito mode okay but in my own case right when i put it on incognito mode these keywords don't work they don't work okay they don't work i don't know why but when i put it on incognito mode they don't work so i use the normal mode but in case you you know you put your browser on incognito mode and it works very good and fine just go ahead and do your keywords to search okay some people might try the normal mode it won't work and some people try the incognito mode and it will work please whichever method whichever one that works for you just use it okay so let's go back to google just come and search for amazon bestsellers okay just as if we are just as if we are you know doing a market research we are not doing a market research we are doing keywords to search this time around and like i told you guys always come to the website that has zgbs this one zgbs okay and click on that of course you have to niche then you have to go to kindle store because your focus is on the kindle store kindle store then let's go to kindle ebooks and you are in you are in so you have to do the same if you like you can write the kindle store completely um keto diet completely or just keto anyone okay so let's say we write keto <clears throat> now you can see all these suggestions now this is the work of the keywords everywhere no amz amz suggestion expander right amz suggestion expander it is you know giving you a list of suggested su suggested keywords you can see some are in green boxes some are in red boxes you have to especially these ones that are in green and red boxes you have to take note of them now if you want everything to be downloaded just come here and click on download keywords it will also download it in a spreadsheet document for you so you can analyze it and you know select the ones you want when you want to put in your keyword so and like i told you guys you don't have to repeat everything again so in this case you are always care to care to care to care to care to remove them just remove them just remove them you don't have to you don't have to use them again that's if that keyword is already in your book title or subtitle but if it's not you can go ahead to use them but it doesn't mean you have to repeat if you put keto in one box please it's okay don't repeat keto in another box again it's not no it's not just repeat only one keto the only things you will now be taking is things like let's say vegan um diet for women over 50 a uh, free book no you don't have to put free book because um amazon amazon don't like don't like um you know words that that tends to confuse customers okay so don't use free book you can use fryer you can use cookbook for beginners you can take cancer you can take you know um diabetes and all these other keywords you can take them let's say we complete it now keto diet and see the keywords that has given given to us so you can analyze them here if you want or you can go ahead to click on download and gather these keywords okay and gather these keywords then um you know select the ones you want to select okay then add them up so that is basically how you know the keywords you no know, the amz suggestion expander works now let's see i don't want to do i just want only diet let's see the keywords that you can see so many other keywords okay on just diet on just diet so you can take note of all these keywords or you like you can just download it and analyze it in your spreadsheet um, spreadsheet uh whatever app okay so this is how the amz suggestion expander works and lastly let's come to our keywords everywhere extension new keywords everywhere like this extension can give you keywords on bit on, on everything like anywhere can give you keywords on it i don't have to go to amazon or maybe a specific website before no just go to google.com and search your idea to give you keywords on them so like i told you guys add it and make sure it is activated before 
you do your research okay so let's go to google.com directly let's go to google.com and let's say keto diet so keto diet let's click on that so your focus your attention should not be here okay where, where your focus should be is on this other side of the page now this is the um uh, work of the keywords everywhere extension and the best part of the keyword ever extension that it will also give you the trending rate of that particular word you can see how keto that has been trending rising and dropping over the years you can see how it has been rising then when you scroll down you see the related keywords in keto diet okay you can see the related keywords and for related keywords you have over eight pages eight pages then you can see the keywords that people also search for now this heart has six pages so you can see the keywords if you like you can go to the other other pages to check them out okay you can see the long tail keywords on keto diet and sometimes when you check if let's say keto diet is trending at that time you checked you also see the list of trending keywords you also see the list of trending keywords okay but in this case i don't think it is trending that is why they didn't add it okay that's why they didn't add it but some topics you can go ahead you can search for them and you see related keywords you see keywords that people also search for you see long tail keywords and you also see trending keywords in a box like this okay so you can note down these keywords you can just easily copy them like this and paste it somewhere so in case maybe you want to you know, get some keywords from there too so let's say you um you know you've done your market research on trends and you see that a topic is trending right and you you know you've done your market research you've generated your content and everything and it's time for you to search for your keywords okay so if you don't have the publisher okay these are the free tools you can use to search for keywords okay they are free you don't have to pay any money for it the first one is the keyword software extension keyword software extension the second one is keywords everywhere extension keywords everywhere extension and the third one is amz suggestion expander so like I always say, make sure you have these three extensions added to your browser. So let's confirm if mine has been added, then we can go ahead to do our keywords research. Okay, let's go to google.com. So the first one is keywords software extension, right? Keywords software extension. So you are coming to this first website, this one that is showing chrome.google.com. Okay, chrome.google.com. So you click on that. And then when you come to this place. If you've not added yours you see add to chrome but in this case i've already added mine so i don't i no longer need to add it to my browser again okay so after you must have added it then you go back and add other extensions to keywords everywhere extension keywords everywhere extension okay so click on that first link and make sure it is added to your browser okay and make sure it is added then the last one is AMZ Suggestion Expander. AMZ Suggestion Expander. Okay. Then you come to this first link and click on that. Okay. When you click on that, you see it has been added too. So now, once these three extensions are, are being added, you also have to make sure that they are activated because sometimes you add these Chrome extensions and they are not activated and that is why when you are searching for keywords they won't be performing their functions so let's make sure that they are added sorry i didn't explain how i did that so you have to come to this place and click on these three buttons then click more tools put your cursor on more tools more options will come up then you select extensions okay you can see all the extensions have been added and they are activated keyword software is activated um keywords everywhere extension it's also activated and uh, the last one amz suggestion expander is also activated so sometimes if you add this um extension you see that it is turned off like this so if it is turned off it won't work you have to make sure you turn it on one two and three okay so now that they are activated we can start doing our keywords research so let's go to google.com okay and let me show you guys how each of these extensions work now we are starting with the first one which is keyword surfer extension keyword surfer extension so now let's assume that okay you've done your market research okay and let's say for example cryptocurrency is um trending okay and you decide to publish a book on cryptocurrency 
let's say the market of crypto has fallen and you know a lot of people are, are losing money on crypto market so you want to publish something around it let's say you want to publish a book on crypto and you know things you need to avoid if you don't want to lose a lot of money on crypto market right then what you have to do is type down the main idea of the book that's the main topic you want to publish a book on so let's say you want to publish a book on cryptocurrency okay it's already suggesting it for me cryptocurrency so let's click that and now i told you guys that the extensions have been added i make sure uh, you know they are make sure they are working so you can see 165,000. It means this is the number of times that it, um, you know, people are searching for this keyword in the US. Just like, let me just scroll down to this place and show you guys something. Your focus is not on these websites, right? Your focus is not on this website. You are coming to this other side of the page. So let's scroll down. Okay. So you can see the keyword so far. It is giving you a list of keywords, giving you a list of keywords that are trending based on that particular topic and their search volumes okay and that search volumes i won't see the similarities between the keywords but this place bitcoins bitcoin price just eight percent similarity with this other one okay just eight percent similarity so and the best part about this keyword is you know you have to select the country okay you can select the country you know which you are targeting and of course your, your country you are targeting is united states okay is united states or if i won't search it here instead of scrolling just type united states okay to bring it up United States, then you click on that. So all the results that it will be giving you is, you know, the statistics of the US because your focus is on the, on, on America, not any other country. Okay, you can see the search volumes of different keywords, and you have over, uh, you know, five five keywords per page out of sixty two pages. And if you want to increase it to six keywords per, let's say ten keywords per page, you can see that's to you know to shrink it, to shrink the results more for you or yeah i think 10 okay 20 so if you like you can increase it you can see the keywords different keywords okay their similarities and their search volumes okay definitely they'll start with the ones that are trending more okay they'll start in you know descending order so they'll start from the highest to this list okay you can see this is the trending volume so this is the amount of searches that this particular keyword is getting so when publishing keywords you can note down these keywords and i always tell you guys that if you use a particular keyword there's no need to repeat it again and if let's say while publishing your why uh, formatting your book you finally add bitcoin okay you finally add bitcoin in the title or maybe subtitle you don't have to repeat bitcoin in the in the keywords box again because your title and subtitle is already serving as your first and second keyword okay so you don't have to waste that slot by repeating um, bitcoin again just look for other unique keywords i can add so this is how the keyword software extension works it will give you the keyword to give you the search volume to give you the percentage similarities okay of these keywords i can even you know change the country of location in case let's say your target is on the uk now you can put it on uk you get different results too you can see different results too so this is how the keywords keyword software extension that is how it works that is how keyword software extension works okay so you can just you know just let's say okay you can just copy these keywords okay you can just copy them and you can just copy them like this and look for somewhere safe to paste them let's see i open my notepad now and just just say i paste them there okay Okay, you can just you know copy this keyword. Let's say for example you click on that one. You can just just copy you know the keywords, right? Or you copy the keywords and put it somewhere. Okay, that's the ones that you've selected. You know, most you mustn't necessarily um uh, you know copy everything. You know, the number of keywords you're allowed to use is limited because you just have seven boxes when publishing your book on Amazon. So you have to look for the keywords that will help your book rank, okay? And definitely you are going with the ones that have higher search volumes because a lot of people are searching you can't use something that people are not searching for you can't use keywords that people are not searching for okay so you have to use these keywords now let's go to the second extension which is the keywords everywhere extension keywords everywhere extension the same thing to the keywords everywhere extension just come to google and type your cryptocurrency right your cryptocurrency and firstly 
you are not your focus is not on this side okay your focus is also not on this side it's on this other side now this trend that you are seeing is the function of the keywords everywhere extension so it is showing you how cryptocurrency has been trending over the years it will first of all show you the trend data okay it will show you the trend data how it has been trending over the years and when you scroll down when you scroll down this are the keywords so far you know keywords so you don't have your you have no business with that then these are the trending keywords like this one now these are the keywords that are trending just like I said in the previous video, you when you search for some topic, you see trending keywords. Okay. So keywords everywhere extension will give you the keywords that are trending. Okay. For that particular topic that I want to publish a book on. So you can pick, you know, you can just copy everything and select the one you want. You can see out of. Okay. So you can see a lot of keywords. Okay. A lot of keywords that are trending in really in relation to cryptocurrency. When you scroll down, you also see related keywords. Keywords are also related to that particular topic too. And you can also see what people search for. Okay, what people search for. These are all the keywords that, you know, the keywords everywhere extension we bring for you. Keywords everywhere extension, we bring them for you so you can use them. And remember, don't always repeat the same word. If you've written, if you've put in, you know, if already, let's say you put in cryptocurrency somewhere, you don't have to repeat cryptocurrency again. Just pick other words that are there. Okay, just pick the other words out there. When you scroll down, you also see long tail keywords. Okay, long tail keywords. All of these are the you know the keywords that keywords everywhere extension will give to you. So you can copy them and paste them somewhere. Okay, then select the ones you need and do away with the rest. Okay, select the ones you need. You don't have to copy because the space is limited. You can't you know copy everything there. Okay, you can't um you can't use all the keywords. Now the last keyword, the last extension is the AMZ suggestion expander. Now this one, you are definitely going to Amazon direct. You are going to Amazon website directly. Okay. So let's go to Amazon bestsellers. Let's see if you are, you know, you are searching for, okay. It's already suggesting it. So let's click on that. And I always tell you, come to the website that you see ZGBS, ZGBS. Okay. Now you can see all these other features here. These are the uh, you know the the you know the number of times that people are searching for Amazon. Okay, let's say in a day or so, people are searching for Amazon. Okay, fifty-five million searches, over fifty-five million searches, like it's crazy. So let's go into the website. And of course, when you come to the website, you have to niche down. So you go to Kindle Store. Okay, then you go to Kindle eBooks. Now, once you are here, you can now go ahead to type down that topic you want to publish a book on. Let's say cryptocurrency. You can decide to break it. Let's say crypto first. Or you can decide to type down every. Okay, let's just type down everything. Crypto. Cryptocurrency. What am I typing? Cryptocurrency. Okay. You can see the keywords. Okay, the keywords are the AMZ suggestion expander we. Um, you know suggest for you that you can use okay it means these are the keywords that people are searching for okay these are the keywords that people are searching for and you can go ahead to download the keywords in a spreadsheet document if you want by just clicking this place and for you to know the number of competitors people are competing for that particular keyword just select one let's say cryptocurrency trading logbook now you can see 1000 results which is not too high so you can use this keyword it's not too high you can use it okay let's go back let's look let's see cryptocurrency trading bots okay let's see how many people just 237 okay you can use that kind of keyword now you can put in trading bots you can just mark trading bots and save it somewhere if you like you can use it as a keyword okay you can use it as a keyword let me close these tabs okay so you if you decide if you like you can type down everything like this cryptocurrency or if you like you can even just just write only crypto so that i can get more suggestions you can see crypto made me rich crypto magazine crypto day, day trading crypto te technical analysis crypto trading book crypto features trading and so many suggestions you can see so many suggestions if you like you can go ahead to download the document so that everything will be inside or you can just go ahead to select one let's see um crypto technical analysis let's say number of competitors just 521 521 competitors so you can use this 
this keyword, this technical analysis, you can use it in your keyword box when publishing your book. Okay, you can use it in your keyword box when publishing your book. Since you already have crypto somewhere, so you don't have to repeat, repeat crypto again. Okay, you don't have to repeat crypto again. And if you like, you can just, instead of crypto, you can just type only currency. Let's say currency. So you are just, you know, twisting the words, breaking them just for you to get more words. Okay, just for you to get more words. That is why you are, you know, you are twisting them. Okay, I can even decide to bring in another word that is, you know, um, unique. No, that is related to the topic. Okay, let's say crypto. Let's say crypto. Uh, there's a crypto market, right? You can just type market. Let's say crypto market. You can just check out, look out for words. Okay, you can see market profile trading, market structure, market market analysis, and all of that. Okay. If you want to know the number of competitors, you can just click on that keyword to see the number of people are competing for that particular keyword. So you know if it's profitable or not. Then you can also look for other keywords. Let's say, um, let's say, let's say Forex also. Let's say Forex. Forex. Or you can even type down Bitcoin. Okay. You can even check Bitcoin. Okay. Bitcoin. So let's see the suggestions. Okay. You can see Bitcoin, mastering Bitcoin, Bitcoin window. Thank God for Bitcoin and also many suggestions. So you just have to like look for keywords that are related to that particular topic too. So I can search for keywords. But remember that you are only focusing on keywords that will help your book rank. Okay. You mustn't, you mustn't copy everything. Okay. You are just selecting the keywords that will help your book rank. The good keywords. Keywords that people are searching for. When you, and when you are using the AMZ suggestion expander, you are looking for keywords that people are not competing for enough okay i'm looking for keywords that you know uh doesn't have a lot of competitors like this one just have 208 okay bitcoin white paper just 208 okay mastering bitcoin let's say mastering bitcoin now you can see just 209 people just 209 people so i hope you guys have learned how to search for keywords okay when publishing books on trending topics okay it doesn't matter you know the the topic that you choose okay now there's one thing i'm supposed to say about trending topics you don't just see any kind of topic on trend and publish books on it you must make sure that your your topic that you chose to publish book on must not be in any way related to either crime or violence okay so things like war things like um assassinations things like protests and all of that you have to stay away from those kind of topics okay and this is because during that time that russia and ukraine you know they were having a lot of war like they were having constant war in their country people were publishing books and they were making a lot of money but amazon suddenly started terminating accounts and that is what i do want so you have to you know, make sure that the topic you select okay the topic you choose to publish a book on should not be in any way related to those things i hope you guys have learned how to search for keywords how to use this keyword extension how to use these um free tools okay to search for keywords when publishing books on trend models the last thing on the list is bad reviews now like i previously mentioned in the video that there are factors that you can control and there are other factors that you cannot control now it's almost impossible to publish a book on amazon without getting at least one bad review but what you can do is you try as much as possible to publish a good quality book that will minimize the amount of bad reviews you have because the higher the number of bad reviews you have the more it will chase customers away from your book because a lot of customers tend to go through reviews of people who have bought that book before before they proceed to buy it and if they see more of bad reviews it automatically leave a bad impression and they will not buy your book if you've been watching this video up to this point make sure to hit that like button if you found value from it subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace